Hi, this is Dr. Eric Philippi with RPI, just coming at you with a quick tip and specifically about the medial knee. Now, we do a lot of treatments for knee arthritis, for ligamentous instability, and we also do a lot of treatments for the nerves around the knee. It's pretty common to know that the saphenous nerve originates at Hunter's Canal at the middle of the thigh. It's a sensory nerve that's a branch off the femoral nerve and gives us cutaneous sensation to this region on the medial calf and medial ankle and medial knee. It sends off one branch that we often see being a pain generator for our patients with medial knee issues, and that's the infrapatellar branch of the saphenous nerve. It's a small recurrent branch of sensory nerves that comes into this infrapatellar region at the medial knee, kind of in the cutaneous or skin region above the pes anserine. Now, in that same region, we also have the inferior medial geniculate nerve. And I want to just talk about the differentiation between those two nerves because they are both pain generators and we can treat them both, but I want to show you how to differentiate those two. So, um, we can certainly palpate for tenderness of the saphenous nerve along Hunter's canal or the adductor canal towards the medial knee, and we can see uh, palpatory tenderness along the saphenous nerve route all the way down to the medial malleolus. We can also um, palpate over this pes anserine or inferior and medial tibial uh, plateau, but this region has a watershed zone where we have a genicular nerve coming off of the tibial nerve and wrapping medially and innervating the inferior medial joint capsule of the knee. We also then have that inferior medial recurrent branch of the infrasaphenous, sorry, infrapatellar saphenous nerve branch also innervating that same region. So we can get tenderness and it's hard to differentiate where that tenderness is coming from. Good news, we can treat both nerves. So let me just grab the ultrasound and I'm going to show you what we can see on ultrasound to find that inferior medial genicular nerve. We'll place the ultrasound over top of the tibia and on the medial side of the tibial plateau we're looking for the flare of the of the tibia and on ultrasound you'll be able to see that hyperechoic white line that white line is going to show up here and that is tibial cortex just above that region, you're going to see a couple fascial planes right along here. These are going to be the distal medial collateral ligament, or MCL. If I scan a little more inferiorly, we're going to see the pes anserine tendon grouping here. You can again see that MCL just deep to that level. And then right at this flare, or kind of that inflection of the tibial flare here, this region is where we're going to start to look for our inferior medial genicular nerve and artery. So I'm going to take our power Doppler, turn power Doppler on and look for an arterial flash. Then you can see that small arterial flash show up right there just above that arrow. So look for the yellow arrow, arrow sign on your ultrasound. I'm kidding. Um, sometimes you're going to need to play around with the gain of the color Doppler so that you may miss some really small arteries. I'm going to turn the gain down and you'll see that that blinking artery basically goes away. Turn the gain right back up and pretty high until you're starting to get some of that artifact of speckling. And there that artery shows up. Now we know that the genicular artery and nerve run right next to each other. We may not on our ultrasounds see the genicular nerve necessarily, but it runs right next to that genicular artery. Now if you see a small hypoechoic or dark spot just deep to that MCL, know that that's probably the artery and probably not the nerve. So we want to just make sure that um, we're able to see the different layers. Again, I'm going to just freeze this image and I'll point out our different layers here. We have the tibial cortex, which is this hyperechoic white line. Above that, we have the MCL with its fibular linear fibers right here. 
just deep to that is where our genicular artery and nerve are. And just superior to the MCL is where our pes anserine tendons are. Now, our infrapatellar saphenous nerve is going to be a superficial nerve. Its branches are here in these subcutaneous fascial planes, superficial to the pes anserine tendons and to the MCL. So we can hydrodissect this area with D5W. We can open this up with about 5 to 10 cc's and get down regulation of the infrapatellar saphenous branch and we can then go deep to the MCL and hydrodissect the genicular nerve out with again probably about 5 cc's of D5W and help to reduce intraarticular based pain and the entrapment syndrome that we see with those genicular nerves and then more superficially and cutaneous tenderness we can downregulate with hydrodissection or perineural injection therapy into this sub-Q, more superficial region. Just a quick tip to differentiate those deeper intraarticular or uh, articular capsular nerves like the genicular nerve from the infrapatellar saphenous. I hope this was helpful. We'll see you soon.